Images can give us important information about the world. A photograph might tell you what your great grandpa looked like, and an MRI scan might tell you what your brain looks like and how it works. Just like photography has evolved from a slow and clunky method of capturing images, so has MRI. MRI is, however, a much newer method and inherently more complicated than photography. So it's still often a very slow method of imaging. I study a specific imaging method that it used to image blood vessels and flow in the brain. With this technique, we can see which blood vessels are supplying oxygen and nutrients to which part of the brain. We can also capture videos to measure the speed that blood travels uh, through the vessels and compare that between healthy people and people with certain diseases that might restrict blood flow. The method I work on provides more information than other methods uh, used for looking at blood vessels in the brain. Because this method shows which blood vessels provide blood to which part of the brain. Images that capture more information are generally considered better than images with less information. For example, a colour photo has more information in it than a black and white photo. You will know more about the flowers in your grandmother's garden if she can send you a colour picture than if she sends you a black and white version. The same way, my method provides more information about the blood flow than other met methods. However, there is a catch. This improved information content in MRI makes the, method, makes the scans take at least double the time to capture. A large problem with MRI is that it is a slow method of imaging. Hospitals are very busy and some patients struggle to lie still for a long time, so it's important that we can get our images as fast as possible. Just like photography has evolved from a slow method, I'm hoping to speed up acquisition in MRI. Imagine posing for your photograph back in the mid-1800s. You would have to sit still for ages, not moving, or else the photo would be blurry. Sometimes the photographer would even tell you to wear a head clamp to keep your head still the whole time. Now we can take photos in the blink of an eye. MRI images still often take a long time to capture. A single MRI image can take anything between a few seconds to many hours to acquire, depending on things like image quality and what type of MRI image you're taking. Normally, however, the scans last a couple of minutes per image. The method I use to speed up acquisition is called compressed sensing. Just like di digital photos can be compressed to take up less space on your computer, MRI images can be compressed. Compressed sensing works like compression in reverse. Rather than collecting a lot of data and changing the way you store it to take up less space, you can acquire a compressed data set and reverse it into a full data set. In order to do this, we need some prior knowledge about our data. The main bit of information that I use to decompress my images is that I know that the blood vessels are small and thin, so will only take up a very little part of the whole brain image. Hopefully my work will be a step on the way to making MRI methods faster and more information rich. Who knows? Maybe one day getting an image of your brain might be as easy as taking a selfie.